in this video we are going to clarify the concept of different arithmetic op operators through a short java demo program uh, in i'm pretty sure that most of the arithmetic operators concept you already know from your previous mathematics background but anyway we will try to clarify with a java demo program and also i will illustrate uh, where java differs little bit in terms of uh, your normal mathematical concept when it comes to arithmetic operators so let's start in order to illustrate different arithmetic operator let me first introduce two different variables of uh, type integer so first let me write down int the first var name let's say var1 and i am assigning a value of 5 inside this integer and the second variable that is also of type integer like var name is var2 and i'm um, assigning the value of 2 inside it and after that I am taking another variable called result which will basically store the result of different arithmetic operations inside. So first let me start with var1 plus var2 which is just arithmetic sum operator. So uh, now just in order to see whether arithmetic sum is uh, calculated properly or not i am simply printing the result so system dot out dot print ln and i am printing result inside so if everything works properly then the value of uh, 7 will be printed in the output window because uh, it is just going to calculate the value of var1 that is 5 plus value of var2 that is 2 that means 5 plus 2 equals 7 so let us see whether 7 is printed or not and here i ran the program and there is a small error because i have a mistake i just forgot the semicolon after this var1 plus var2 so now everything is correct i added the semicolon now run it once again so here as you can see as expected 7 is printed the same way you can try the minus that is the subtraction operator also so this time it is expected after changing it from plus to minus this time it is expected to print 5 minus 2 that is uh, 3 let us see whether 3 is printed or not so i am running the program and as you can see 3 have been printed in the output window because 5 minus 2 equals 3 the same way you can try times operator also which means it is supposed to print 5 times 2 that is 10 so let us see whether it prints 10 or not so everything is working as per the normal mathematics whatever you can think of so, and i am pretty sure that until this point you are comfortable with uh, your uh, because everything is same as your previous mathematics background now let me discuss a little bit about java division operator now division operator means this slash this slash is called the division operator in java and when it comes to division operator java behaves a little bit differently from your normal mathematical concept how differently uh, java basically cal does the integer division if both the operands are integer in both the side of this division operators then java does only the division uh, integer division so if both operands that is var1 and var2 are integer then java performs integer division only integer 
division. So what does that mean? That means it will the result will store only the integer part of the result. That is only the integer part of the result will be displayed. So this is the meaning of the integer division. So what it basically does is it basically stores the integer part uh, uh, the and the rest of the part which comes after the decimal point they are basically ignored so in normal mathematics 5 divided by 2 means it is 2.5 right now whenever it comes to java this 0.5 will be ignored and only 2 will be printed so let us run this program so if I just run this program, as you can see, only two have been printed. But the actual result from your mathematical background, it should be 2.5. So that means Java did the integer division. That is only the integer part of the result is displayed. And it will happen when both the operands beside these uh, division operators are integer. Now you may think of that, well, since I am using uh, result as an integer data type, so it is not displaying the double part, I mean the, uh, decimal, uh, the part after the decimal point. So let us change it to double, let us change the result to double. Uh, I just change the type of result to double like this. So double result equals var1 divided by var2 and then let us print it. So let us run this program and let's see what it prints. And as you can see in here that still it is doing the integer division in the output window. So here as you can see that is 2.0 have been printed because I have changed the uh, type from integer to double. It added some number after the decimal point but that's not the real result. It is still not printing 2.5 right. It is just printing adding up 0 after the result because both Java already performed the integer division and then just converting that integer to a double number and adding just a point zero afterwards. Now, if you really want to perform the floating point division, the actual division result, then you have to do this. You have to change either both the operands or one of the operands to double. So let us change this var1 to double. And so instead of integer, I changed var1 to double. And now if I just run this program, then you will see that, well, 2.5 have been printed. Now, you can change one of the operand to double to get the actual result. Or you may think of changing both the operand to double to get the same result. So never make this mistake. Java, if both the operands are of type integer, then Java does, Java performs only an integer division. That is the part after the decimal point will be ignored. And if you are interested in getting the double result, I mean the actual result with the decimal point, then either of the operands or both the operands should be double in nature. Now let us clarify the concept of the remainder operator in Java. This remainder operator is also called a modulus operator in Java. Now in 
normal mathematics uh, you really do not use a different operator to calculate the remainder but i'm pretty sure you are all aware of the concept of remainder right but anyway let me show you a small example first and uh, then we will discuss about the remainder operator and so here is a small demo so let's say my first variable is 5 and the second variable is 2 this uh, this way and uh, what i want i want to calculate the remainder between 5 and 2 what does that mean uh, in mathematics if i ask you to calculate the remainder between 5 and 2 what you need to do is first you will just divide those numbers like 5 divided by 2 and then you will get 2 as a quotient and then uh, this 2 to the 4 and then 5 minus this 4 uh, that is 1 and this 1 is basically the remainder of 5 and 2. So this is the concept of remainder and I am pretty sure you are already aware of this concept. But anyway in normal mathematics you do not use a different operator to express the remainder right. It is just a part of the division this way you treated it. But in Java in Java programming you have we have a different operators for remainder and uh, that's what we are going to see uh, in this video and so I believe this demo example is uh, clear to all of you now you can easily connect your concept of uh, mathematics remainder with uh, this video and let me just get rid of all these annotation first and uh, let me show the java demo now so i'm simply deleting all the annotation and now let's uh, start seeing the demo so here uh, as i have done i have two variables like 5 divided by 5 and 2 and uh, let me get rid of all these comments and uh, then in java if you want to use remainder you have to use this percentage symbol so always remember this percentage symbol has a different meaning in the context of java program it's not like your normal mathematical percentage but this percentage is remainder operator in java so if i do the five remainder two as i have just shown the remainder should be one so let us run this program whether i get one as a result or not and as you can see one have been printed because the remainder of five and two is one so the division of five and two that is var one divided by var two the in uh, it is uh, 2.5 but when it comes to the double division and when it comes to remainder like this here it should print 1. So let me uh, you can change the number to try out some different things. So let's say if I just change this var 2 to 3. What should be the remainder now? The remainder should be 2, right? So the quotient will be 5 divided by 3. The quotient will be 1 and the remainder will be 5 minus 3 will be 2. So let's run it and let us see whether 2 is printing or not. As you can see, 2 have been printed. So this is the meaning of the remainder operator. 